leggings is not gonna take me to the gym one of these directions so I'm like piecing out to the whole back to school thing Hey guys, what is up? It's Amy and today's video is going to be 10 things that you should not buy in 2020. So this video is in collaboration with Jane Eleanor and she does videos on sustainability, specifically not buying things because this year she's going to be doing a no buy year. I personally am not doing a no buy year. I do not have that kind of self control. My nose is running. Oh my god. Because Jane is doing a no buy year, she's obviously not buying anything. So I don't really explain what I mean by no buy year and if you go to Jane's channel, she'll explain it way better than I ever could. But basically, you tr you don't buy anything on top of what you need to survive, so obviously you need to like buy food to eat and you need rent. But other than that, you don't really buy a lot of like extra clothes or like a new coffee machine. You basically stick to the basics. But she's also come up with 10 things. Also go to Jane's um, channel if you want to see more content. Kept a lot of these things kind of related to fashion or clothing because that's kind of what this channel is about. The first one is a new phone which I bought this phone last year. Before that, I had the iPhone 6, which I had bought in junior year of high school. So I had that phone for like three years. Yeah, so I had that phone for three years and then I upgraded to this phone because that old phone had a lot of problems. It was super cracked, super slow. So I actually gave that phone to my sister because she wanted an iPhone and I was like, I mean, if you want to take it. Literally a week after I gave it to her, the home button stopped working. Especially if you just recently got the iPhone 11 or you have like the 7 or the 8. Try not to upgrade your phone this year. Obviously Android too. Let's not forget about the Android gang. I know a couple of people who had the 10 and then are at the 11 right now. And I'm just like, not only is that really expensive, it's also really detrimental to the environment. I try to like stick with my phone until it's like dead. If it's going slow, you can like get the battery fixed instead of having to like buy a completely new phone. And if you do need a new phone, like your old one is just absolute trash, try to buy a refurbished or like um, second hand from someone so that you don't have to like create a new phone. The next one is a winter coat and this is something that I bought last year. I thrifted the coat that I currently have. I'm going to try to use this coat for as long as I can and I feel like once you've invested in a really good winter coat, you really shouldn't have any need to buy a new one, especially if you buy one that's black and is like super warm and comfortable. Definitely try not to buy a new winter coat every year because there's really no need for it. The next one is a water bottle. I got this water bottle from my sister. This is a hydro flask. I talked about this in my things I only own one of video, which I will have linked up one of these directions. And in that video, I talked about how I have this one hydro flask that I use both for hot liquids and cold liquids. So I recommend if you have like a coffee mug like this that's like decently big and can do hot and cold liquids, try to just have one of this and not buy any more. I know water bottles are something that I used to buy a lot of. I buy super cheap water bottles and then have to constantly keep replacing it. But try to stick to just one water bottle. And oftentimes if you only have one thing, you're not going to lose it. So if you have one water bottle that's really nice quality, stick to it and try not to buy a new one when there's like different colors you want. Try to stick to the water bottle that you already have. And if it does hot and cold liquids, then just like stick to that and try not to have like a million different coffee mugs and water bottles because you really don't need it. The next one is fast fashion. I feel like this is the easiest to not buy of because I'm not telling you to not buy clothes. I personally love fashion and I go thrifting all the time. But fast fashion is something that I stopped doing and I also recommend for you guys to also stop because it's very detrimental to the environment and the kind of working conditions that people go through working for fast fashion is horrible. I feel like if we all just like collectively buy less of or buy no fast fashion, then the companies will have an incentive to like be more sustainable, have better working conditions and stop like killing the environment. So just for the next year, I kind of challenge you guys to not buy anything from fast fashion. And this includes Walmart too, like those I consider to be fast fashion. So I was ranting about fast fashion for a hot second and then the camera died. 
basically what I'm trying to say is try to see if you can spend a whole year not buying anything from like fast fashion brands. Basically anything you find in the mall. Instead you can like invest in super high quality brands like Reformation or Everlane which do sustainably sourced and ethically made clothing. Or you can just buy thrifted which is one going to be cheaper and two going to be way better for the environment. So for the next year challenge yourself to not buy fast fashion. Number five is also more of like um, environmentally focused and it is to not buy anything that is leather or f faux fur and I know a lot of people already don't buy things that are leather or faux fur but especially if you're not vegetarian or vegan definitely try to see if you can also not buy anything from these because it's like especially cruel the way I think about it um, because you're just like killing these animals I don't even know if they eat the meat from these animals you're just like killing them specifically for their skin. I think it's kind of disgusting. This can also include not to buy like makeup or skincare that isn't cruelty free. Once again, just try to be nice to the animals. And if you want to go extreme, try not to buy meat products or animal products. Try not to buy makeup. This is especially going to be hard for makeup lovers out there, but I think just for the year, try not to buy makeup products to add to your collection, especially if you already have 10 eyeshadow palettes and 6 eyeliners. Try to see if you can use up what you have, use up the skincare that you have, use up the lotions that you have, use up the eyeliners that you have before you buy more. Um, I used to actually, in high school, I used to make makeup videos on YouTube, so I had accumulated a lot of makeup from like BoxyCharm and like different, just going to the store and buying like $50 worth of makeup so I could like be a YouTuber and like be a beauty YouTuber. That obviously didn't last very long because I was poor. And now that I like look back and actually not even look back, look currently at these YouTubers who have like 10 million lipsticks, I'm just like how could you possibly use all of that? That's such a waste of resources, such a waste of like plastic and packaging. And I just challenge you guys just for this year and like obviously try to continue like further on from this, try not to buy as much makeup. Number seven is furniture and this is another one where I feel like we are constantly wanting to buy new furniture, we're constantly wanting to buy a new purses, we're constantly wanting to buy new everything. I specifically said furniture because this is one of those things where oftentimes people will replace furniture before it's run its course so i think i just challenge you guys just for one year try not to buy a new like dining room table furniture is one of those things that once again uses a lot of resources they're huge they like if it's wood furniture it like killed so many trees just to make it so try to see if you can not buy new furniture not to buy new like kitchen appliances until the ones you have um, have run their course which should last a lot of years so just for 2020 try not to buy any new furniture number eight is try not to buy new pens and pencils this one is geared more towards people in school so for the longest time ever every time it'd be like back to school season literally even just this past year I'd go to the store and I'd buy like a hundred pack of pencils I'd buy like a million pens by the time that the school year ended, of course all of those would be gone. Not even all of them, most of them would be gone, but I'd have like a couple of stragglers. And then what would I do the next year? I'd do it again, I'd go to the store and buy a million pens and pencils. This semester, um, I challenged myself not to buy any new like pens and pencils and stuff. Even like a notebook, I have a notebook from last semester that still has paper in it, so I'm gonna finish that up before I get a new notebook. And I've also just been trying not to buy things that I already have. So this is like my pencil container that I have on my desk. It has like pens and pencils that I've gotten for free at things. It also has like really random like highlighters and pens and pencils that don't match. It really doesn't look cute. Um, I can't do like one of those like desk tours and it has like matching pencils and like little, little containers. And even though it doesn't look cute, it's practical, it saves money because you don't have to buy new pens and pencils. And it's also a lot better for the environment because if you already have something, why buy a new version? So for this year, especially when it comes back to school season, don't buy any new like pens and pencils and different like school supplies because I'm sure you have some laying around in your house. Like I'm not even going to say I think I'm 100% sure you have a notebook from last year that you did not finish. 100% sure you have pencils under your desk that you can like fish out and if you don't, 
I'm sure someone else does. I'm sure your cousins do. I'm sure your your mom has a bunch of those things in your house. So try to see if you can just use what you have in your house instead of going out and buying new pencils when you already have some at home. Next one is workout clothing slash clothing to sleep in. And this is also one of those things that I feel like we have um, a lot of like incentive to buy all the time because we get all those commercials from Fabletics and we're like, wow, I, I need new leggings. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that one, I really don't work out that much. And two, new pair of leggings is not gonna take me to the gym. My legs are gonna take me to the gym. So I kind of like advise you guys to try not to like buy new working out, workout clothing or um, like sleeping clothing, especially because of the fact that I'm sure you have like at least 10 pairs of leggings already and you can work out in that. It might not be as cute as like a matching like sports bra and like leggings with pockets and stuff. It might not be as cute but it is practical and it's a lot better than going out and buying a new pair of leggings, working out for three days and then realizing it's not your thing and stopping. So try not to like get sucked into those like a new pair of leggings is going to make me go to the gym because it really isn't. So especially if you don't work out. Don't buy new workout clothing because it's not going to make you work out. Another big one when it comes to like being in college or being in high school, buying a new backpack every year. Why do we do that? I don't understand why I did that growing up because the backpack from last year usually would be fine to use into the next year. So if you're still in like school, I'm graduating this year so I'm like piecing out to the whole back to school thing. But I this year bought a new backpack. But the backpack that I had before had run its course, it had rips in it, so that's why I got a new backpack. But that backpack I used for three years, so that like kind of worked out great. So try not to buy a new backpack every year, and specifically this year I challenge you not to buy a new backpack for back to school season, because I'm sure you really don't need it. Okay, so to finish out the video, I kind of want to go over the concept of just not specific things, but in general like the concept of things that you shouldn't buy number one is things that you already have that are working just fine number two is things that you're not going to use but if you're not going to use something don't buy it number three is things that are trendy or things that are just like for clout and the thing I'm talking about most is a new phone I feel like every year people will will like go out and buy a new phone because it's like it's the iPhone 13 like I need the 13 even though I have the 12 right now so try not to buy things just because it's the latest and greatest and it has like 2% better camera that is not necessary and then it's just putting out more resources that did not need to be used try just in general not to buy as many things not only will this help your wallet and help you kind of like be more financially free help you invest help you help you travel buying less things is way better for the environment i've also been trying this obviously not in terms of clothing because i have a lot of clothes and i will not sell my clothes but i also do mostly literally only buy things from the thrift store this is thrifted these pants are thrifted these socks are thrifted though that's not thrifted but I do mostly try to buy things from the thrift store. In general, try not to buy so many things and your wallet will thank me and so will Mother Nature. So that was it for today's video. Thank you so much to Jane for partnering with me on this because I really want to do more collabs this year and I'm so happy that she said yes to doing it. And it's so great that she's doing a no buy year because imagine that I couldn't personally because I don't know. It's not that I buy a lot of things, it's just that I know myself and I know that by March I'd be like, I just, I really want new pants. So yeah, that's so great that she's doing that. Um, more power to her and more power to you if you also think that you can do a no buy year. And try not to like let it stress you out that it's a no buy year. Like I said earlier, you can do a no buy month, no buy week, even just a no buy day is great. If you want to do like kind of meatless Monday where you just like one day a week, you're not going to buy an extra coffee, you're not going to like go to the mall those days or like a couple days a week where you don't buy anything so like you only buy things on Sundays. That is so awesome. So if you can do something like that, that is going to be great and it's going to be honestly just as good as doing a no buy year because you're also just trying to like decrease your consumption. If you enjoyed this video of course like it and then also comment down below other videos you want me to do. Um, I've really been killing the YouTube game. I don't know if you've noticed but I've been posting so much so I just want to 
pat myself on the back for that one. But if you want to help me grow on this YouTube channel, of course, subscribe. And then also like this video for the YouTube algorithm. Do you guys watch?